Hamilton live reporting outside the burning flames of what used to be the old Avondale Church. What you can see behind me, ladies and gentlemen, are rubble and ashes, and also a random lady. Excuse moi, madame, what can you tell me about what's happened? Rebirth! Resurrection! I think she needs Listerine. What have you got around you? Please tell me. Rebirth! Resurrection! I think we may have found some, some bits of clothing from someone that may have been caught in the fire. You heard it here first. Bulletin live, back to you. Why is the ankle smile? Who do your eyebrows like that? Is that why you're angry you take the money? Whose clothes did we find in the fire? But why would she take the money? Because her eye. She keeps her eye on the price? Oh. Interesting. Where is Pastor Sam? We're just minutes away from hearing from the FBI. They're going to tell us what they found inside the church, and is it in my size? Uh, ah, ACC! Okay, calm down, calm down. Zero, zero. Good morning. Kia ora, tēnā kūtua, tika mori ora, and warm Pacific greetings. We're already warm, hurry up. Thank you. Yes, we have some good news and we have some bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? We want to hear you, hurry the hell up! Right. The good news is, we have identified the owner of the piece of clothing that was found in the fire last night. And the owner of the piece of clothing is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> the piece of clothing belongs to Pastor Salad of what? the Avondale Church. Oh my God! And the bad news is, he's dead. <gasps> like a moth to the flame, burned by the fire. Are you quoting Janet Jackson? No, but that's the way love goes. Right? But we would also like to announce that we have some even greater news. As of today, it is my pleasure to announce that we will be stepping down from yes. this case today due to the lack of... Thank you, um, Jesus. Uh, due to the lack of basically this neighborhood is very messed up. This crazy people live around here. It's very uncomfortable for me and my brother here. For more information, yes. please we check my like Instagram, right Thank you very my Snapchat, much. and your no mum's Snapchat. No, sir, what's the Wi-Fi password? 27214. All right. Is that your phone number? Or... Oh, OK. Cool. That's your mum. Oh, wow. There you go. There's the password for the Wi-Fi. Back to you, Bulletin Live. That's it. You're free to go now. That's it? So they caught the thief? If they have, I'm going to be here later to fussy them. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's just go home. I'm tired. No, we need to go to the church. There's a mess to clean up. Miss Angie. This is so unreal. I got married in there. I learned how to sing in there. I got laid in there. I lost my eye in there. <gasps> Look! Uh, sorry for your loss. I mean, sorry for your loss. Yeah, he's actually in a better place now, actually. Yeah, maybe you can find somebody your own. Somebody your own. Ooh. How can I go back? Remember. Remember! Remember! No, I remember he... He used to like to grab me by the head and... Yeah. and tell me about everything, you know, and everything was meant to be. It's just... It's just so... Now he can't even celebrate his own memory in his own house! <laughs> Brave dear, come for to bury your soul I'm not one of any words. <laughs> if there are any words, these are the words I'm gonna share. <laughs> I 
I was down and out, struggling. I wondered how I was going to make it through. I've got a dream, holding on. I can't let go because I gotta make it come true. I'm in it. Grave digger coming, but the digging's all done. Yeah, all well, done. Cause you've been digging like the son of a ghost. Oh. Dig a hole. Bro, resurrection. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Grave digger coming for to bury your soul. Grave digger coming, gonna marry you in. Cause you've gone and done.